Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and welcome to your Curator Physical Sciences. Today we are looking at work energy and power and specifically we are dealing with past papers. This past paper is from the Western Cape. It was written in September 2019. Okay, so let's read the information. A large bucket of mass 80 kilograms is filled with 1,600 kilograms of water. It is lifted vertically upwards by a helicopter through a height of 20 meters. So what we see here, we see the mass will be 80 plus 1,600. This means our mass is 1,680 kilograms. And... The distance, because it's moving up, we don't use the delta X, we use delta Y. It's 20 meters. Okay. At constant speed. So speed is 2, at constant speed of 2 meters per second. I must specify constant. Okay, constant. The tension in the cable is 17,000 newtons. So tension is 17 thousand newtons it's okay i'm just gonna um write it magnitude only assume there is no sideways movement now 5.1 state in which the work energy theorem we go into the next page 5.1 the work energy theorem states the network done the network done on an object by a net force on an object by a net force is equal to is equal to the change in kinetic energy is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the object right okay is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the object Right. Okay, so that is your net <clears throat> work energy theorem. Let's go back. Now, draw a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the bucket while being lifted upwards. So while this is being lifted upwards, we will consider tension. So let's say this is our object free body so tension will be going up and what is this weight will be this way and of course there's also friction i'm going to call it small letter f so the this is your free body diagram these are the forces acting on the object okay these are the forces acting on the object remember we are avoiding no i mean we are assuming no sideways movement all right so these are the only forces acting upwards. Okay. And it is tension that's pulling it up in this case. Okay. So um, use the energy principles. Now it says use the energy principles. That's 5.3. Use the energy principles only to calculate the work done by air friction on the bucket of water after moving through a height of 20 meters. So we are looking for the work done by friction. Remember, there are three forces that are acting on the object right now. So we will use work energy theorem. Okay. We will use work energy theorem. What is the work energy theorem? It is net uh, work done by the network. Oh, sorry. Network done on an object is equal to change in kinetic energy. Now, what is our network? This is, as you can see, the object is going up. So tension has to be is in the same direction as the displacement. But before that, let's just say work done by friction plus work done by tension plus work done by weight is equal to zero. Because, why am I saying zero? Because it is moving at a constant velocity. Okay? The object is moving, or rather it's being lifted as at a constant velocity. Okay? So, and tangent kinetic energy is zero. Okay, all right. So 
What is work done by friction? It is force of friction delta y cos p theta plus oh we are looking for work done by friction so let me leave it as it is what is this one i will say tension delta y cos theta and then work done by gravity we know we can find the weight by saying mg so it will be mg delta y cos theta equals zero okay so let me explain this. Um, we know work is equal to work is equal to F delta X cos theta. That's okay. But this part here, it's called the weight. You also know that weight, let me call it FG, weight, which is called is equal to this, but we need to be careful because we are also using um what is this? We are also using um W2 to represent what is it to represent um work done so let me call it fg okay let me call it fg so fg will basically be equal to and it is basically equal to mg okay so yeah it's better this way okay but even if you use w guys it's still okay as long as you're not gonna confuse yourself but remember i want to avoid confusion remember i said i'm changing this i'm gonna call it um f sub g yeah f sub g okay cool now let's substitute the work done by friction is equal to what is tension our tension was 100 and oh 17,000 newtons and the distance was 20 okay so it was <laughs> i don't know why i did this okay so it's 17,000 newtons multiplied by 20. And remember, tension is in the same direction as the displacement. So it'll be zero degrees. Plus, what is the mass? We found our mass to be 1,680. All right, it was 1,680. This is mass of that bucket with water. Times gravitational acceleration, 9.8. Times displacement, 20. Weight is in the opposite direction, so it will be cos 180 degrees equals zero. Now, let's see. This guy is equal to, let's see, 17 times 2 is 34. So, this must be 340,000 yeah, 340, minus C. 1680 times 9.8 times 20. Okay, so this will be minus 329,280 is equal to zero. So I will say previous answer minus answer. All right. Let's see. So we get w f plus uh, is it plus yes plus 10 7 20 is equal to zero therefore w sub f is equal to negative 10720 joules so this tells you that negative work is done indeed negative work is done because look at this free body diagram friction is in the opposite direction to the displacement so it should be negative it makes sense and we are happy so this is how you solve these problems okay so when i look at it you have your 10 marks okay so there you go you have 10 marks so but 